Hello, this message is going to be for Virgo, Virgo, February 14th through the 29th, card representing Virgo, Queen of Swords. I pull up the Mercier, you know, in some hatch. Um, so that's your, that's you. Queen of Swords, a self-sufficient person, totally, total honesty. Queen of Swords here, compassion. Queen of Swords here. You will encounter or must act like an independent person who sees ideas and information as powers to be used. Sympathy will be lacking. One second. Um, be careful that loneliness does not turn strength into rigidity. Rigidity. And rigidity, tactlessness, or prudishness. Another way to say it. You need to be independent. Empathy may distract you. Think with your head, not with your heart. Devote your full attention to your situation or the volume of information will overwhelm you. Be honest. So, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you and the 12 signs. Virgo dealing with a Pisces. Virgo dealing with a Aquarius. Virgo dealing with a Capricorn. Virgo dealing with a Sagittarius. Right? Virgo dealing with a Scorpio. Virgo dealing with a Libra. Virgo dealing with a Virgo. Virgo dealing with a Leo. Virgo dealing with a Cancer. Virgo dealing with a Gemini. Virgo dealing with a Taurus. Virgo dealing with an Aries. All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you. So Virgo dealing with an Aries, Seven of Swords. So either trickery, cunning, um, Seven of Swords, generosity, Seven of Swords, theft, betrayal, dishonesty, and running away. Could be somebody's hiding their feelings, but with the fox, it's kind of sly. You're probably not talking to them. Somebody's stuck in their head thinking what somebody else is thinking. Virgo and an Aries. Did I say Gemini? Virgo and Aries. What's going on with Virgo and Aries? I did say Gemini because of the Queen of Swords. Virgo. You Rock My World by Michael Jackson. So somebody's smitten with somebody but doesn't trust them. Okay, this came in reverse. The snail and the huckleberry, trust in the invisible. But it came in reverse, so maybe they're not trustworthy. Or you don't trust them, or they don't trust you. Maybe just don't trust their words. Feel like a sacrificial lamb. Lavender haze. Somebody could drink um, a little too much. Could be hiding that fact. The lamb and the fox, that's not a good combination. All right, that's Virgo with Aries. One's a lamb and one's a fox. You decide who's who. Virgo and Taurus. Wheel of Fortune. What's going on with Virgo and Taurus? Bon Ivor, can't make you love me. Um, I can't make you love me, but I can love myself enough to make you wonder what's going on. 
the Wheel of Fortune, Good Fortune, A Turning Point, Luck, and Gambling. Uh, what else? Virgo and Taurus. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So somebody might be trying to either make you love them, Taurus-wise, uh, with dealing with a Taurus, or change the way things are, get you to talk to them more, get you to open up more, or this is you with them. Taurus and Virgo. Somebody's driving an old, driving old memories into the future. That's what that gives me. Have a courage, have the courage not to repeat a cycle. Just like Tom and Jerry. All right, Virgo and Gemini. Two of Pentacles, a change. Two of Pentacles here, mindfulness. Two of Pentacles here. Two choices, multitasking, weighing, many options. So until you make a choice, don't come to Virgo. Remy Shand, everlasting. A forever support system, but Virgo and Maria Gemini. Yeah, Virgo and Gemini. Um, thinking they change their mind too much, being too compassionate with them, which enables them. I got green, I got yellow, I got orange. I was going from the heart to the sacral chakra, something about the core, something about fluctuating, oscillating, vacillating, vacillation, am I saying that right? Yeah. All right. Um, going between not talking to them and knowing that you want their a lot of Tom and Jerry here. Tom's mad in this one. Waiting to perform? I don't know what that is. And then there's some kind of crystal grid. I don't know what that is either. Might be upset with them, but will always support them. That's what I'm getting. Virgo and Gemini. That's Virgo and Gemini. Virgo and Cancer. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Handling conflict in this one. Rivalry, challenges, obstacle, and sport. So Virgo and Cancer. Might be some competition. Might be petty fighting and arguing. Virgo and Cancer. St. Teresa. Might have something to do with an art, security, safety, stability, Virgo, and Cancer. What's this about? The wolf and the rose hip guardianship might be responsible for somebody's well being, somebody's health, somebody's uh, getting their chores or responsibilities done. Could be a family thing. Might feel like somebody's not putting up enough effort to help this person or you helping they might think this about you you might think this about them warning feeder cases may attack something to do with garbage maybe somebody has to clear out their house Picasso something Uh, lots of French old art. Maybe it is a cleanup thing. Guardianship. St. Teresa. All right, that is Virgo and Cancer. All right? Yes. Virgo and Leo. Six of Swords. Might have to travel with them. Might be moving away from them. Might be moving towards them. Set it all free. Scarlett Johansson. 
might be breaking up with them. They might be breaking up with you. What is this about? Virgo and Cancer. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. You might have felt judged by them. They might have felt judged by you. You might feel they're running away or traveling too much. Seven of Swords being sneaky, going somewhere, not telling you the full story. Six of Swords, privilege. Six of Swords, also a necessary transition, relocation, and moving. Somebody might be dropping everything and moving. And I don't know if they're telling you this. Or you might be doing this to them. Visit, or they might be coming to visit. Maybe you've been going somewhere a lot as a visitor, and now you want to move there. Somebody's cutting something loose. Set it all free. Balance. Going to the extreme. A paper boat. Um, yeah, looks like uh, Cancer I think, is moving on. Or you're moving on from a cancer. Alright. I mean, Leo. Sorry. It's getting a little overwhelming. Virgo and Virgo. The Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Could be a sincere friend, could be a rival. Usually it speaks of a friend. She looks like she's bringing something over. A dish. Maybe you do yoga with this person. Yoga equals to unite. Maybe you're united with this person and on the same page with this person. Uh, Queen of Pentacles here. A resourceful person, fertility and domesticity. This person could be helping you out around the home. You could be helping this person out. Could be helping with children. I want a song though. 32 flavors, Alana Davis. You guys could be different cultures, different races, but of the same make, of the same cloth. Think the same. One word describe what's going on here. One word. Let's go here. Parrot nervous. Somebody could make somebody nervous. They're nervous. Let's see. The parrot. Someone or something is pulling your chain, making you jumpy. Don't just pretend to take action. Okay. Someone or something is pulling your chain, making you jumpy. Or don't just pretend to take action and flutter around. Actually do something about this issue. Or a certain level of nervousness is present. Maybe they're your rival. 32 flavors. Maybe they are they have their own studio, their own spiritual practices, and they're in competition. Somebody's thinking about somebody a lot. Feels like they're on fire. I could be a firefighter. Yeah, somebody's got somebody on the brain. An idea that includes growth. So that might be what's happening with you and Virgo. No. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, Virgo. So Virgo and Virgo. That could be talking about you. You could be your own friend. You could have your own ideas. You could be hot right now, but you're nervous. 
you could be looking to spiritual practice and there might be 32 different personalities to you. Right? Here I go Virgo. Libra. Virgo and Libra. Ace of Swords, delay. Two of Swords, a decision that needs to be made. Virgo and Libra. Whatever you're thinking about, you're trending in the direction of. So it could be an opportunity or it could be doom with this Libra. You have to pick. One second. Um, Libra, right? Yes. So, Ace of Swords, <clears throat> excuse me, what's going on with Libra and Virgo, Ace of Swords, new ideas, new conflict, surgery, and mental clarity. Doesn't have to be that, but Ace of Swords, kindness, so whatever you're focusing on is going to grow as far as a decision that needs to be made with a Libra. Give me one card for this, Libra. Clarity. Tisbata? Tisopta? Clarity, sorry, I don't. Clarity and fairness. Kindness. Whatever you're thinking about, you're trending in the direction of. So this could be whatever you want it to be. Depends on how you're thinking of it. Libra and Virgo, funky monkey funk, and eat your greens. All right, Virgo and Scorpio. Magician, the Queen of Swords, Virgo and Scorpio. Magician could be you. Could speak of you. Oh my God, Usher, will I am? Something is used and abused, overly used and abused, has been folded, bended, but is still standing. So manifesting something, the Magician, focus, creativity. Turning visions into reality, inspired action. If you link up with this, where am I? Scorpio? Crap, I did something wrong. What did I just do? Scorpio. Libra? Yeah, okay. I don't know if I got that mixed up. I'm sorry. I have to keep going. Uh, this is Scorpio. Yes. So, oh my god. So many ways to love you. Somebody wants to manifest you into their life, wants to have quality time, intimate moments. This could be manipulative but it also could be just yearning oh, it's manipulative dishonesty the hand someone in this issue the hand of a criminal someone in this issue is being dishonest or people or people do not change their true nature or be careful of the choices you make. So I'd be careful with this Scorpio. Careful with this Scorpio. Yeah, there's some black magic, but you're protected. They're looking to see if their magic works yet. 
Virgo and Scorpio. Someone's being dishonest. Virgo and Sagittarius, right? The sun. So something happy. Oh, I sort of take it. Big shit popping by T.I. And little shit stopping. Um, let's go here. Virgo and Sagittarius, what's going on? They're nervous too. Why do I feel like I just got that? Uh, this speaks of commun communication. Oh, the little parrot. Um, it says, someone needs to talk to you or you need to talk to someone. Don't get so busy that you do not listen to others. So somebody either has a plan, an idea, they're nervous to talk to you about it, you make them happy, they make you happy, could be a power couple, could be starting a new business, a new venture, could be collaborating on something big here. Three stars and an Australian koala. I don't really have anything for a koala. That seems like comfort to me. They just feel comfortable to you. Alright, Virgo and who's left? Capricorn? Three of Swords. Heartbreak, trauma, grief, and depression. Four of Swords. So somebody's in seclusion. Virgo and a Capricorn. Three of Swords. Regulate, Warren G. Feel like somebody betrayed you, somebody did you wrong. Three of Swords here. Three of Swords here. Fairness. And Three of Swords here. Heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression, and surgery. Maybe somebody's not the same as they used to be. Um, they're acting different. What's going on here? I'll go here. Capricorn and Capo. I mean, sorry, Virgo and Capricorn. Somebody's acting funny. They got new money. Yellow power control. A power struggle. Somebody broke your heart over money, over loyalty, over friendship. Inheritance. Insurance. Virgo and Capricorn. Could be a family member. Leo. Was protected. The protection has gone somewhere. Yeah, this could be a health thing. You're not my appendix, but I'd still like to take you out. Mm hmm. Somebody could be having health issues here, which is leading to money issues, which is causing a problem. Um, Capricorn and Capricorn. So if this isn't you dealing with the Capricorn, this is you dealing with yourself. So you could be heartbroken with something you did. Regulate. Could be a Leo involved with you. You could be having health issues. It actually could be from... This is the solar plexus area. So I wouldn't focus on power control or money if you have health issues. Focus on getting well. Okay. Capricorn with an Aquarius. The star. So, um, they are a wish for you. Capricorn with an Aquarius. Oh, how cute is that? The star. They give you guidance. You feel safe with them. The star. The star here. Renewal, hope, inner clarity, Capricorn, Virgo with an Aquarius, sorry. Inner hope, renewal, hope, inner clarity, miracles, have faith, being in the spotlight. 
and the star here. Something or someone will guide you. You are lost. Look for guidance. There is hope and help available. You just need to recognize it. Um, Virgo with a Aquarius. Wherever you will go. I mean, you've got two stars guiding you, this, them. Couldn't get much better than that stickers. Double stars. Stickers. Could be a twin flame thing. Alright. Virgo with an Aquarius. I've got the Aquarius. Jar. And good vibes. Alright. Now Virgo with Pisces. Five of Swords, Virgo with Pisces, why the Five of Swords, Virgo with Pisces, mm. on to the next one, Jay-Z and Swiss Beats, because somebody's playing too many mind games, Virgo with Pisces, I'm going to go here again, it's love, but it's uh, a struggle, six of swords. Somebody's going to move on if somebody keeps playing mental games. Five of swords. Bullies, theft, violence, abusive relationships, and that could be mental abuse. Five of swords here. Identity. Somebody's making you question their love, making you question their identity, making you question if they're going to stay or leave, or this is you doing that to them. Um, and this moon could be secrets. A secret could be that they love you. It says love or romance is present or be careful that strong emotions is not influencing the situation or put a brighter light on the situation. Something is clouding your vision. So with that second one, be careful that strong emotion is not influencing the situation if you feel like somebody's trying to have a mental hold on you and it's abusive, you should move on. And that's with Pisces. Okay, Virgo and Pisces, two stickers. Virgo and Pisces. We've got, uh, yeah, it's like one of those never ending things. Tipsy roll pop for real suckers. This person might think you're a sucker, and hopefully you don't, you're not having that mentality. Your role in the street, pop. And what the heck's that? Uh, each time you deal with this person, it's a new face, it's a new mask, it's a new way of trying to keep you trapped. Okay. Virgo. I have one question for Virgo that they could ask their significant other just for fun to have a little more knowledge on them and a deep, little bit more understanding. One question for Virgo. Which city in America do you like best? Explain. All right, Virgo, sorry for the mess up. If my first time doing it like this, it'll be better next time. But thank you.